Okay, so after reading this and after listening what LaMarcus Aldridge said, which we will be looking at, um, I have to say, I feel very validated in how I felt at the time. I want some nasty! Are we having fun yet? So LaMarcus Aldridge had a little bit of introspection, and he had some things to say about Greg Popovich. And I, 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 wanna, I wanna talk to you guys about it. Now, before we get into that, if you guys wanna support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description, or become a patron and YouTube member, only $2 per month. Um, if you don't want to do any of that, just subscribe and like the video and that, that'll suffice. Leave a comment even. That helps too. All right. So let's take a look at this. Uh, where is it? It's just, I lost it. Here it is. LaMarcus Aldridge. So he discussed butting heads with Greg Popovich over fourth quarter playing time. And we're actually going to listen to what he has to say. Now, before we listen to this, let me go ahead and say this because I don't know if you guys recall. Well, obviously most of you guys wouldn't recall at the time I had like a hundred subscribers. Okay. They, most people don't remember this, but Back in the day, when I first started this YouTube channel, we had LaMarcus Aldridge. I wasn't crazy about him. And the reason why I wasn't was because of his body language. I could tell on the court, off the court, it was something up. I was like, what, what just, just, just go in there, do your role, do your thing and, and, and go home. I, I didn't understand what was going on. And I think that this gave a little bit more clarity of what was going on at that time. Um, and why LaMarcus body language was the way it was because it, it was important to me LaMarcus DeMar DeRozan it was the same thing with both of them where sometimes their body language just wasn't necessarily there and I thought it was kind of poor leadership but I never once said LaMarcus Aldridge was a bad player I never said obviously that's foolish obviously that's silly he, he's he's a phenomenal uh, big man and at the time I was super excited because it was like oh my god how many championships are we about to win? I mean, you got David West, Marcus, Tim Duncan, uh, 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 Kawhi. It was like, what? We're set for the future. Like, we're good. <laughs> That's how it felt, at least. Um, but yeah, that that was not necessarily um, the case. So let's let's go ahead and take a look at this. Lamarcus Aldridge talks about butting heads with Greg Popovich. All right, what, what do you got to say, my boy? You said right now in your answer, I wouldn't want to coach because I know how hard it probably was to coach me. What's a moment that made you think about that, that in your answer of saying, like, I wouldn't want to be a coach because thinking about, like, what it would have been like to coach me would have been not a oh, walk in the park. That's not LaMarcus that Aldridge. San Antonio, oh. and, we, and we were winning uh, 60 games that first year, and we were up by 30 at halftime every time, and I wanted to play the fourth. And Pop would fight me and be like, no, you can't play the fourth. But I'm just like, I need my rhythm. So, like, I want to go back at you know go back in the game in the fourth. So I feel like obviously he was coaching the team in the right way, and you know to risk injury wouldn't have been smart. But I would be so frustrated. I'd be like, I need to play more so I can have my rhythm. So then we would kind of butt heads a little bit about I want to go in for like two more minutes, but you yeah. know it would never happen. So I think that's what I was thinking about is like I understand big picture now. It's like hey, like that's not risk injury for you to get you know two more minutes in the fourth. Exactly. Sorry, that it cut off. That's weird. Um, but yeah, exactly. And not only that, I truly do believe that the San Antonio Spurs helped push Aldridge's um, years just a little bit more in the NBA, um, his career a little bit more in the NBA. Because you guys know that once he left the San Antonio Spurs, that's when it went completely downhill. Um, so I do think that Popovich uh, uh, sitting him how he did and, and making sure that he stays healthy probably helped him um, in the long run. And I think that he's very... Uh, uh, grateful for that so it, it's pretty cool that he was able to speak out on what happened what was going on and things that he didn't like and for him to say that th this is the thing too like you know the the way that the question was framed was what's no one part. moment that was when I got Oops, sorry. What, what's one moment that made you think back like oh man i was so hard to coach that's one moment but you don't say that overarching uh um you, you don't say that overarching statement of hey i was a hard player to coach from one moment okay so it was multiple and i i i saw his body language and i was constantly like what the heck is going on with aldridge but that was part of it i'm sure and that wasn't just one time it was constantly okay so it's not just one instance but i did want to show you this so i thought this was pretty cool um so someone said i think now that he gets why pop did it uh so now he could be a great coach and explain to his players like here's the reason why and players would relate to him even more because he played at the highest level. Coach LA, we need you, bro. And then LA says, yes, I get why he did it. It was an example of something I struggled with my first year there 
because I was such a routine player and big on having a rhythm. Pop was great at understanding that and he tweaked things uh, to help me out. Uh, by the way, it wasn't just that first year. And we, and we know even that LaMarcus Aldridge asked to be traded. Actually, is there any way I can just, if I can't find it within the first search, I'm not doing this. LaMarcus Aldridge asks for trade. Here it is. LaMarcus Aldridge asked for to be traded last summer, and this was 2018. So, yeah, no, it wasn't just... I know I know LaMarcus wants to frame it like, oh, it was just my first season. No, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't just your first season, okay? It wasn't. Um, yeah, but anyways, just, just wanted to bring that bring that to your attention. Um, it's good stuff. Uh, wait, what is this? Whoa, nobody ever said to me before. Anyways, yeah, so... No, he, he had issues like for a while. Okay. It wasn't just that time. Um, so anyways, uh, just wanted to show that to you, uh, bring that to your attention. But as you guys know, if you want to support, there's many different ways to do so. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all the love until next time. Bye.